So after some time, you learn to hide something like that away. But that has to change. My dear Nan has told me stories my whole life about this culture, and it led me down the path of discovery, of yearning for a newfound appreciation of the stories that I heard through my life. You know, big things that happen in the world that don't necessarily happen to me, but happen in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm having to try to look into myself to work out what I would do at the end of the world. I, I think a lot of us go about our lives pretending that uh, it's going to last forever, and it doesn't. You know, I think, I think it's not that you lose the life that you have. You lose the life that you're, you're going to have. I keep thinking about, about all the things left behind that will lose any sentimental value when, when we're gone. Yeah, a lot of them will like, uh, they'll be up and down, like they'll be lying down, then they'll get up, then they'll like go around in a circle, like almost making a nest in the straw sort of thing. And then they'll be bawling all the time, like calling for a lamb, even though it hasn't lambed yet. And I think people really couldn't believe it, that it was actually going to happen, and then it did happen. Most people in the village are older now, and I, I was just trying to think, I don't, I don't actually think there are any, any children in the village now. So what will happen to farms, I don't know, but to make a living at farming, present day you need a thousand acres. Oh.